hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog i was just about to unbox a few things i got from zara home that i ordered online and i got quite a few things this is the box right here so you can see it is pretty massive like this is me in comparison <laughs> but i've really been wanting to get some new vases and little decor pieces some like marble slabs this is one thing that i already unboxed <laughs> this beautiful piece of beige kind of marble um, stone that you can use to put like you could either use this in your kitchen to put olive oil or little spices you could also use this in your dressing room or like in your wardrobe which is what I'm gonna do for my perfumes and fragrances and then I also got a few larger vases for decor around the apartment I really want to fix the kitchen centerpiece I want to do something quite like big and dramatic for this island so we do have this really nice big island space here which I love of, but I'm not so crazy about this um, thing that we have going on here it's kind of more like a temporary thing that I have right now usually if we have fresh flowers they will go here but yeah I got a few different vases so I think the best way to do this is for me to unpack everything because I think all of this is gonna be like very noisy so I'll quickly unpack everything and then I'll show you guys what I got Okay, so these are the items that I got. All of this is from Zara Home, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. So one of the things I was really focusing on getting is a base for the centerpiece, which we now have this wooden one, but I feel like it's a little bit too small. So I'm thinking something like this, and then in here I could put a vase and maybe some decor like around the vase, but I think this is a pretty good size. Some other options that I was considering were these like, kind of like underlays. These are wicker. These are normally placemats where you would put your plates on top, and I actually really like them as that, but I just got one of each for the purpose of this area but i think i actually really like this um wooden tray <laughs> but i will see i'm gonna keep everything for now and play around with the space and see what i like um this actually was thinking that it was going to be bigger but i think this is still really nice you could put fruit inside some christmas decor and i like that it adds this nice like homey cozy texture to the space actually also got this tray which is a beautiful mirror tray and has this really nice kind of a rustic gold uh finishing really really like this this could actually also be a very good option for the base of this centerpiece and then these are the marble slabs that i was telling you guys about earlier this is the one that i showed you and this is a more um gray toned one i love this again for either in the kitchen or even on your bedside table just you could put like little perfumes or your jewelry on top and the textures are absolutely beautiful they are very high quality as well, like it's actual stone. So they're pretty heavy and they just feel very sturdy and amazing quality. And then lastly for the vases, I got this beautiful ceramic set. This has a really cool texture, so it's very like, it's kind of like rough. So it has a really nice like authentic feel to it. And then this one is so cool. This is like a see-through kind of marble stoned vase and it's got this inner piece as well so when you wash the vase you just wash this part and then this brown vase i thought this could go nice with the wooden accents and also with the gold this did also come in a slightly smaller one so you could actually get both of these in layer which i might do but i wanted to get one first to see if i really liked it and then lastly kind of randomly we have been needing dessert forks because we usually eat our desserts with spoons and recently we had some friends over and there was a whole discussion like do you eat with a spoon or with a fork and apparently lots of people eat it with a fork so we had to get some dessert forks so we got six or eight 
of these. So yeah, that is my homeware haul. Very excited about all of these items. Of course, I'll make sure to have them linked for you guys down below. So now I'm going to head to the flower shop and see what they have. I either want to do something kind of tall and like branchy and woody, something kind of like fall themed, or I will do a bouquet of flowers. But yeah, let's see what they have and I will um, show you guys when I'm back. It is the next day and we have had some really exciting little things happening in this apartment. So I did go to the flower store and I found a bouquet that I really liked. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for though in terms of the branchiness and the length. They did actually have this one sort of branch that had little um, red berries on it which was very pretty but each branch was like 20 Five. So altogether that would have been a lot because you need quite a few to make this nice arrangement So I didn't get those but I did get a nice bouquet But then what's really exciting is this morning Mo and I went out on a walk in the park near our apartment And I was telling him like this is exactly what I would want but in a vase like the the leaves the branches or the trees but I thought why not do a little DIY project with those actual branches So it's the same ones that you would be buying in the store but you're just getting them straight from nature which I think is so cool as well and they look so good all right so starting with the centerpiece in the kitchen this is what I got from the flower shop yesterday and I really really love these colors they're very like fall and Christmassy I love the little pop of orange there and also the length I like how it's kind of like long and then for the base I actually layered two trays so we've got this golden mirrored one from Zara home that I just recently showed you and then this wooden one is the one that I had before this is from H&M home and I think they actually look pretty cool together layered like that just adds a little bit more texture and then I've got the flowers in this marble vase that I also shared with you yesterday and this is what it looks like from a different view and then moving on to this very exciting find so this is one of the branches that we got in the park and how cool does that look right <laughs> i've been seeing this kind of arrangement all over pinterest and i was actually looking this morning for places to actually buy a branch like this and then when we were walking i was like this is actually Perfect, let's just get this. And I just love that this is actually from the place where I go walking almost every single day. It's so cool. And as you can see, the space here is pretty big. So I really love to actually have something that's quite big to kind of fill up the space since we do have the very tall ceilings. And then I love this vase as well. This is also from Zara Home, but I got this about a month ago. They do still have it though. I saw it online as I was getting the other things. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. I think it looks so fresh and modern. And then over on this side, we also got these branches that have these beautiful little red flowers on them. How gorgeous are these? We didn't actually know what to do with these right now, so we've just put them here by our TV, and one is on the floor, and then this one is here on the console table. And these were pretty much exactly what I was looking at at the flower shop that were so expensive, and we just found these outside on our walk this morning. So I think that is so cool. They are so beautiful and then lastly we also found this beautiful piece right here so we put this in our entryway i'm not crazy about this vase though um i don't think it really goes 
very well with our decor here but this is what we have for now and i still think it looks really cool and we did trim some of the top branches on all of the kind of like bundles um just to make them look as nice and like homey as possible but i really love the raw kind of naturalness of this kind of look and yeah i think it's super cool it's like a piece of nature indoors on the topic of home decor i've been thinking a lot about christmas decor because it is november and i think it's really fun to decorate for the holidays we don't go like crazy but we do have a christmas tree and i like to get a few little other things for the apartment but last year we actually just did a tree here in this apartment so i've been looking online i have my computer here in front of me so i've been thinking about getting a garland for either the dining table or to lay over our tv sideboard i'm also thinking of getting a christmas themed blanket to put on that chair over there and maybe a throw pillow for the other one you know just something fun for those two months leading up to christmas and i think decorating is actually a really nice thing to do you guys probably know i'm not the biggest fan of winter i personally love sunshine and warmth and to see greenery and all of that but i do think when you kind of get into the festive mood and just kind of welcome it and embrace it i think that that helps a lot with those seasonal shifts you know just not feeling your absolute best in the winter i think those little things definitely help okay so this is one of the garlands that i'm looking at so this is draped over a fireplace but you can also of course have it on a dining table or over a sideboard actually also really like this one i think this one's a little bit more on the simple side it has a little bit more of a cleaner feel to it so i think i actually prefer this one and this is where i get my christmas tree from this is balsam hill we bought our tree from there like three four years ago now and i would highly recommend them i'm actually thinking of getting a larger one for this new apartment this is the one that i'm thinking about i'm not sure yet if we're gonna get it but i would definitely recommend this um brand they are in the u.s and in europe as well i'm also on west wing and these are a few of my saved items that i've been thinking about so this is a really cute christmas pillow that is also in the more like neutral style i also saved a few different beddings which i thought were really cute like this one for example so pretty i've also been thinking about a blanket where did it go like one of these either something red like this or i also saw this one that has these um reindeer on it i thought that was really cute they have it in like a light gray and then in this brown color that that was really nice and quite festive it's still a nice color palette for the kind of colors that we have currently <music> I'm gonna be trying a stovetop potpourri right now. So I've just sliced up some oranges. I've got some cloves. And then these are actually cinnamon sticks. My mother-in-law gave these to me probably like two years ago now. This is a huge bag of cinnamon sticks. You can make tea with this. And it's just such a massive bag. And I've been wanting to find other ways to use this. And then I came across this stovetop potpourri. So I'm gonna put this in a pot with some water and let it boil. And apparently this is going to make your whole home smell absolutely incredible and it's of course a natural way to do so okay so i've brought it up to boil and then i turned down the heat so now it's just simmering and it smells so so good i can't believe this is the first time i'm doing this i feel like i've been missing out i've seen some recipes online where you could also add cranberries to it as well so i'm probably going to try that next time but already this smells so good and you can actually keep this for i think two days or so two to three days and yeah and just have it on a very low heat and it feels your whole home with a beautiful natural very holiday themed scent i'm now going to wrap up this video but i really hope that you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching
watching as always make sure to check the description box down below for links things i mentioned i'll try to have as many things listed down there as i can other than that i hope that you're all having a beautiful day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys